Hi, welcome to T's Journey. My name is Tanya. This is my journey. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell notification. I'm at the lake house because um, I just had a guest that just left. Um, and, I, and I have a cleaning crew, as I said before, that comes in and clean after the, after the um, guest. But I've been cleaning lately because I like to see how they use the property and how they, you know, treat the property. And what if I need to um, change things or add things. Like, at first, my maximum was eight. But then after a couple of cleanings, I realized I don't want eight maximum. So I reduced it to six because it was a it was a lot. And um, not only that, it wasn't about the cleaning. It's just how they had to use the property. And I wasn't uh, comfortable. If they want to bring more guests or they ask me personally, I might allow them on occasions. But I did take down my max from eight to six on the general. But I'm going to go through, this video is going to go through showing you how I clean the property when after the guests leave to show you how I sanitize it, how I, how I do everything. This time I'm going to actually do the windows because they had kids and they put their hands on the ha window and some of them was eating and um, got stuff all over the some of the windows. So I am going to do the windows this time, but I don't do it every time. I look and make sure, you know, I, I just wanted to be in perfect condition as the pictures show. I'm going to walk you through how the house looks before I start cleaning it. Now, I've been here for a day, so some of the mess is mine, but this particular people, when they left, they have instructions on the back of the door of how to leave and check out in the um, guest book, but um, they did some of it and some of it they didn't do. Like, um, for example, I tell them to put my thermostat at 60 in the winter when they leave, and in the summer, 78. Well, they did put it at 60, but they put emergency heat on. Now, usually I come right after they leave, but this time I didn't feel like driving up, and I should have called my cleaning crew just to check. And I, I waited five days, and when I came up, the emergency heat had been on all that time. They had left the dining room and kitchen light on, the um, TVs on in the living room, the master bedroom, and downstairs. Um, in the room downstairs, they left the room downstairs light on, the um, the bathroom light on downstairs. So they left a lot of lights on, and they didn't do everything I asked. Like, for example, I like, like, first thing I come in is I strip the beds, make sure they, they have stripped the bed that, beds down and put the linen and the towels in the tub. Some of them do them, some of them, this one, they did it half and half. They had towels in there, but they did not strip the beds down. So I had to do all that. Um, they they had some towels in there, but they, they had the towels in there. And then I had to strip the um, beds down and throw them downstairs to be washed. I washed, I already washed this, uh, a load of towels and a load of sheets. So I wanted to show you how I washed them, but I have one load of sheet left to do and blankets to do and the mats. Because I washed the mats, the, the mat for the bathroom every every um visit between every visit so i have that left to wash so i'll show you how i wash them in terms of sterilizing like the towels i use bleach hot water and um white vinegar and then i use the wool balls to fluff them and study the um the um dryer sheets so um in the sheets i do the same thing now for the color clothes i don't use the bleach but i do use the um I, um, white vinegar, and I do do use the balls too. But um, so I'm gonna walk you through of how the house looked before I start cleaning it. Again, I've been here for a day, and sometimes um, some of this is my mess. Um, but usually I start usually start downstairs to clean, and then clean upstairs last because usually I'm up. I, well, I rotate where I stay. Sometimes I stay upstairs in the bedroom, sometimes I stay on the couch, depending on how long I'm staying, and sometimes I stay downstairs in the room downstairs. Well, this time around, I'm staying downstairs because the last time I stayed on the couch for a couple of days, even Rick came up, it was uncomfortable. I mean, it's not that it's not uncomfortable, but when you're in there about the fourth day, and uh, it, it, it was, I, I wanted the bed. And I didn't, I don't sleep in the bed sometimes. If I clean up and do the bed, I don't like to redo the bed. Because I, I have my own set of sheets, my own set of towels, all that when I come. So I have to do twice the bed bedding. So like I said, that's why I reduce my, also reduce my um, my um, guests down to six maximum. Because you could do two in each room. The 
room up the two rooms upstairs is four and the room downstairs is two even though the couches pull out to a bed on both that can hold about two more people I, or one or two people. I said one because to be comfortable. But when you were two people, you can do two because Rick and I did sleep on a bed, um, couch. But like I said, after four, the fifth day, fourth or fifth day, you're like, okay, I need a, a mattress. <laughs> so I reduced it down to, that's me personally. But some people, they said, you know, I've had guests that stayed here for seven days and they had eight people and look, they had said the couch was comfortable. Again, me, I need a mattress after a uh, day, really day two or three. And, um, and this, since this is a pull-up bed, it's not the same. You don't have a mattress. So again, I'm going to walk you through first how it looked before, and then I'm going to show you as I clean each room. I'm going to speed it up when I clean each room, but I'm going to walk you through. So stay tuned. And when I came in, this is how it pretty much looked. Now, the suitcase, I just brought up because I'm going away, and I had to bring the suitcase up to uh, make sure that I have the suitcase from taking that's my notary bag but this is it wasn't too bad as far as cleaning if it's not too bad to clean it now this chair right here supposed to be right there so they moved that the curtains was closed so that's okay so i have to now i'm gonna show you where the say i have checkout information right here i'm gonna show you where the kid put her hands you see i don't know if you can see it really good so that means I gotta clean this, these windows. Um, so I might as well clean them all if we're gonna clean it. The they left the coffee grinds and they didn't, they did put some dishes in there, but some of them, this is the dishes they they used that wasn't cleaned. So I'm cleaning them. This is they did these dishes, but this I used, but this is a, this was theirs. They didn't clean the coffee pot, they left grinds in the pot, so I'm gonna clean them. This they didn't use much coffee, so I have to replenish, not the ones up here. Anyway, they were using the downstairs coffee, but I do have extra coffee down in here. And then a frock of four lattes. They didn't clean out the, this is the microwave, so I got to do all that. They left the trash out and I had to, they did take some of it. And this is the toaster oven air fryer. And I cleaned that out, they didn't use it. But I want to clean it just to make sure. And anything that they might have handled, I sterilize it. Like I said, they did put some of the dishes in there. This is my mess here. So in my dishes there. So that's my mess. So I have I do have a checklist that I do use a cleaning checklist. And then I do a post. I did the I'm doing this to 12 because I'm gonna have then I did the post stay when I walk through. After they left, I already did that check out what they did and what they left on. And I see what I have to reprint like the paper towels. And I have the basic supplies. And then I have a pre-check-in and all that. And coming down here, now, the bathroom was not that bad, but they did have this. I just bought this because I think I'm going to fill this with the stuff. So I, change, I buy stuff to change up. And like I said, I cleaned all this ledge. All this up so it wasn't that bad they did not strip this bed down I stripped it down so I got clean up in here they did leave some things like these little scissors if somebody left a t-shirt and some earrings so I'm gonna probably send it to them this is the master bedroom again they did not strip it off this is my owner's closet forgive me it's a mess but that's my stuff I keep locked up but again this is they did not strip and they did not empty the trash in here in the, most of the bedrooms they did not empty the trash so i like to cut out cut on all the lights when i'm cleaning and dusting so i can get every part because i dust every time as well so this is the upstairs how they left it now excuse this mess because i brought everything up so there's the towels i washed some more paper towels gloves to clean with toilet paper and the stuff that I have to replenish, uh, all that. So I'm gonna go down to the basement now and show you how the basement was left. Now I asked them to put, if they used the king bed downstairs, I asked them to put it back up. That wasn't left like that. I put that down, I said, Matt, I'm about to wash. And these are the bags I used to travel. And in there is the closet for all my, I keep locked up as you can see, it's it keep a lot for all my stuff. So excuse that mess. So this is going in my pile of clothes I have to walk. Now this bedroom, 
They did leave the light in one. The bed was up. But like I said, I'm sleeping down here, so I have it down as a king, and I've been sleeping down here. I did strip it, strip the uh, pillows. I have my own pillows I use because, like I said, I try not to use the um, guest pillows so they can have it fresh and everything. So those are my pillows, and they, um, I did have my own set of sheets that I put on there as well, and they left this TV on. And this is the bathroom. I clean that. So it's not that much, that much. There's this pile of sheets I have left to do. The rugs I have to do. And then the blankets I have to do. Should have cut the light on down here. I'm working down here. So what I do is I, I charge up the lighting system under the counter each time because they automatic. So they charged up the ones upstairs as well. Again, they didn't mean this is all my stuff because I'm working downstairs. Like I said, I'm actually staying down here this time around. These are the towels for, that's going to get hung up down here that are already clean. And I just got to do just not much. So that's what I said. I've, I'm, I've started cleaning. Well, he's doing laundry. So that's why I got it's such a mess somewhat. But again, this this they did put the TV up. So this is how it looked before I start cleaning. Okay, I'm gonna do the load of laundry. I'm the first thing to do laundry since one set is almost finished drying. So I'm gonna start this other set of sheets so I can show you how I do the laundry. So first I do, I put at least two of these. I always tell my throat was tied, but I got the cheap version, I guess. I put two of these pods in, and since these sheets are white, I pour a lot of bleach. A lot of bleach. And then in the fabric softener section, I put, I fill it with the white vinegar. So I put that in the softener. And then I have this laundry pre-wash. If I have any stains, I, and it's been really good in getting the stains out, and I, 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 I do that if it's, I see stains on the sheets that need to be done. And the other load was the pillow case. It looked like they might have peed on it, and it was like red marks and everything. I sprayed this. It's like it was never there, and I love it. So I use this for pre-wash. So I'm about to load the washer with the white sheets now. Oh, that's so we close this so it won't spill out. I check the sheets to make sure there's no stains in there that I might need to pre-treat. Good. So then I sit down and I sort of push on and I select white. I do the sanitize with Oxy and then it gives me a two hour hot wash and then i have the um deep water and everything's in it the fabric softener is on so they can when it gets to that rinse cycle it can do the white apple cider vinegar then i hit start so it's got two hours on that and this other clothes is still drying and that's how i wash the white clothes okay the first thing i'm gonna do is the master bedroom i'm gonna clean that this bedroom i got my relaxing music on so Stay stay tuned and see how I clean. I do my cleaning.
we done cleaning the room. I'm going to do the next room and I'm going to do the next room and I'm not going to film that one because it's the exact same thing I do. Make sure I Febreze. First I lights off the whole surface. I do the mirrors. I said I sprayed and got some on the mirror. So I'm going to do that mirror over again. So I spray all the surface with Lysol. Wipe it with the Lysol wipes as well. I dust the corners, the baseboards. I did the windows this time because, like I said, they had children. They had prints all over and the windows was really a mess after they finished. So I did all the windows, uh, dust, the corners, the boards. Um, and I do it every time because if you keep on top, top of it, you don't have to worry about uh, it getting built up. So I, I, I um, also like saw all the surface that I think they would touch, like the light switches, the, the light plates, the drawer handles, the um, door handle, and this door handle. Even though my owner closet door is locked, sometimes people like to try it. So I do that again too. I, surf, I um, wipe that down as well as the light to that room and uh, make up the bed and then I Febreze it. And I do a Febreze air freshener. And like I said, I spray it again, the surface with the Lysol. So I'm heading to the next room to do the next room. I'm not going to film the next room because it's the same as this one. So I'm just going to do the same thing that I did for this room to that room. So until we get to the, uh, I think I'm going to do the living room, dining room, the kitchen next. Because the bathrooms, I usually try to reserve for last because I am here until tomorrow. So I'm going to use the bathroom downstairs. So I'll probably clean that one very last and I'll be downstairs. So um, I'm going to clean up that room downstairs. But what I probably would do since last, tonight's my last night here, I'm going to sleep on the couch. So um, I can pull that out and get fixed, straighten that back up up here. So I'm going to pack up my, my uh, car and everything. And then I got an early morning hair appointment. And I'll... Uh, so I'll, 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 I'll go to the next thing that's probably going to be, maybe it's the bathroom up here. So stay tuned. Okay, this is the finished products of the room. Let me get from there. This is clean. Now, what I didn't tell you, I forgot to dust the ceiling fan, which I went back and did. Uh, because thanks to this trusty list, where I'll go th through, that I, it helps remind you, I did clean the trash can. I just got to get the trash bags. I just have to replace them with the trash bag. I wipe down all the surface. Excuse the mess in the hall because I'm cleaning, moving down. This is the second bedroom. Finished that one. Did the same as I did in the other one. Even clean, dust the uh, ceiling fan, wipe down all the surfaces. And that is done. This one, I didn't have to do the windows because they obviously didn't do much in here in the windows, but I did clean the dust the winds. Um, the window seals. So when I go over my checklist, which I'm going to show you now, is the bedrooms. I'm on the bedrooms. I did the dust and clean all surface, including um, dresser, bedside table, headboards. Don't have the headboards, but this one I did in this room. I did screen, um, computer screen, and television. I did this television. Um, I dust all appliance knickknacks, including lamps. Ceiling fans and blinds. Um, I washed and changed linen, sweeped my I vacuumed the floors, removed trash can and cleaned them, sterilized them, cleaned and polished the window seals, which I did, and replaced any burned out light bulbs. There wasn't any, so that's an NA. So that's the bedroom. So I did the checklist. This checklist really helps me. Uh, this the cleaning list helps me to go through. Uh, make sure I don't forget anything to clean. So until the next um, place I clean, which is going to be the living room, dining room, I, I decided to clean the bathroom downstairs first because I got to wash my hair for tomorrow hair appointment. So I'll do the bathroom up here last. So I'm going to wash my hair. And then once I finish washing my hair, doing what I need to do, then I'm going to uh, clean that bathroom, the main bathroom upstairs. So um, I'm going to just do show where I'm going to do the uh downstairs bathroom as showing how i clean the bathrooms so stay tuned bye okay i'm going to the kitchen and dining room i'm going to film how i do the kitchen how i uh, wipe everything down how i do the kitchen the cleaning of the kitchen so i really do an intensive cleaning because one i know what i would want when i'm going into another part um house so i want people to come in and know that everything's been cleaned from the surface to the dishes, to the appliance, everything. Um, 
I want to make sure I do let them know that I do a really good cleaning in terms of cleaning the place. Now, when I hire someone else out, I'm, I'm not sure I'm not there to see them clean. But what I do plan on doing, since I haven't had anyone come in yet, because like I said, I've been doing it myself, um, is go behind them to do like a, a quality check. Because I know what I like and I know what I want. And I know as a coming into someone's house, you want the best. So I'm going to go through and check again. And I probably also will wipe down the surface with a with Lysol wipes to make sure that they have done the same. You know, they may have done it. They may say they've done it, but I'll go at the same time and I'm doing quality control, just wiping down a surface, which wouldn't be much. Um, I would check to make sure it's dusted, everything's clean. And so stay, stay tuned. This is the kitchen and dining room I'm about to start now. was my husband and this uh person I'm hiring to help me with my Airbnb I have a cleaning crew and that's fine but I always like to back up a backup well I had an issue when I came this last person who as I said who came and rented they had my left my house on emergency heat the fan on they put it down to 60 but I put emergency heat on and they left on a Sunday and I didn't get a chance to get here I should have came I usually come right after they leave to check but this particular time, I was like, oh, I'm not in a hurry. And they wind up uh, leaving the lights on, TVs on, almost all the TV stuff in one in the basement and the living room. But they left the two bedrooms on, the room downstairs on, and they left the TVs on and the lights on in this in the kitchen, the dining room, the the bathroom downstairs, and the bed, the room downstairs. And I was like, Man, I, I don't like that because my electric bill was going to be high because you know everything's doubling. So I, I, someone called me. I had decided to hide them as a backup. So if I can't make it the day of the people checking out, they can come to make sure the heat is, is turned on 60 in the winter and it's still on auto. And in the summer, up to 78 and it's still on auto instead of putting it on fan or emergency heat or of that nature. Um, I'm hoping they didn't burn my element out because it's still kind of like the air was cool and to make them they're gonna make sure the lights are out i'm gonna i'm gonna pay them a little fee to make sure the lights are out tv's off and, and um and, and they even said they're willing to clean but um i don't know how they clean i know i got a cleaning clue crew but we'll see that will be a backup cleaner if i if I, I can't make it or my cleaning crew so that's who that was on the phone but back to cleaning i was um i just finished the uh if I remember, I was over here about to clean that surface and out the the um sink. And then I'm going to hit the refrigerator and the stove. Oh, they didn't clean mess up. Usually I do a self-cleaning on the stove if it's messy. But it looks like they did not mess up anything. Oh.
Okay, I'm finished the dining room in the kitchen. And I'm gonna put it all together so you can see how it look after it's together. Um, I'm letting the draw it the um floor dry then i'm starting the living room and i'll do the basement it's taking me longer than usual because again i'm getting calls off the hook and i'm calling i'm stopping to talk for a while so stay tuned for the living room okay this is the finished kitchen and dining room everything's wiped out clean and um got the lights on here because i'm about to hit down the basement the hallway in the basement but the kitchen's all sanitized and done it was done and the checklist look at the checklist now the checklist the kitchen i checked it uh load run i got to 12 because i was going to do it tomorrow but i wanted to do it today so it's the 11th i load run well they was already loaded so I just empty the dishwasher and I wash by hand, clean, sanitize surface, including countertops, tables, cabinet, etc. Clean and sanitize all appliances, including phone, no phone, toaster, and coffee maker. They did not use the toaster oven this time, but I did sanitize the handle outside. There's my phone again. I'm going to wait on that one. And then lastly, I cleaned and sanitized the inside and outside of the microwave and the trash cans. So... Next is the living room and the hallway, and then I'm gonna hit the basement. finished cleaning up the living room um i didn't wipe down the remote yet or some of the surface because i'm still here and i'm going to watch tv no use of wiping it down right now but i want to show you the finished product this is this i'm taking to my car this is going with me so i left it in the corner there but this is the finished product everything wiped down mopped and clean like the pictures you gotta keep it so it look like the pictures all the time So I, I finished the upstairs. Oh, I didn't do the bathroom again because I'm washing my hair tonight. I got guests coming over. I got someone coming over that's going to be a backup for my cleaning. And she wants, she was supposed to come earlier, but she didn't get a chance to. So um, she's coming now to walk. I'm going to walk her through what I want when um when I when she I do require her to come. So I'm going to walk her through what I want. The bedrooms you saw. So now we got, we are finished for upstairs. So until downstairs, stay tuned. I'll come in the basement. It took me a long time. I it actually was interviewing a backup cleaner. She came through tonight. Um, I didn't think to do a working interview with her. So she's going to start doing the cleaning for me, um, the backup. Because the cleaner I have right now, she doesn't do quick turnovers. So I do have, I know I have some twi quick turnovers coming up, especially in July. I have actually a, a um, booking that ends June 30th and then 
the next they do they come in the next people coming in June July 1st so it's a quick turnover so the cleaning crew I have now don't handle it it's really a one woman but the one I interviewed today is two of them which will get it clean quicker so they're gonna be back now that they're gonna start coming like when I'm away to make sure that the um, lights and stuff is out Ooh, checking my hair out making sure the lights are out everything's in order and immediately when I can't get up here. So I did, that's why it's a little late now because we wind up, I took her through the house, what I expect, what I want. I'm actually going to do a um, working uh, trial with her come when I come. I have a um, booking the first week of March and it's from March 7th to 14th. And I told her uh, the 14th when they leave, me and her can get together and do it together. Now, I might have one for president, which she would have to do it by herself because I'm not going to be here. Anyway, so I won't be able to do it a president weekend if it do. So um, stay tuned. Now I'm doing the basement, so you'll see that. finish the bathroom I'm letting the light sterilize it a little bit before I put the towels in and then I'll do it again when the towels is up I'm gonna shut the door let it get it sterilized upstairs bathroom because cleaning one bathroom is the same because I do the same wipe everything down mop clean up the tub and everything next is this room here and then I'm finished with the cleaning stuff for this little hall and I'm not gonna show that but I'm debating if I'm gonna show you know it's like a bedroom I'm not gonna show you how I do this clean this room because it's already done I mean, it's like upstairs, but only thing we wiping down, spraying, and I just have to do Windex and dust that. So you get an idea how I clean. I make sure I, I wash all the surface with uh, all the surface with Lysol, and then before I leave, I actually spray all the surface doorknobs, light switch again with Lysol because until I'm ready to actually walk out the house, I still might touch it. So I go ahead and respray it down again. 
So that's that's how I clean. You see the bathroom, the finished product of the bathroom. The, I leave the shower door open so it can air out and dry out. Because if I close it, it won't dry out. So um, that's pretty much in a nutshell. As far as the saunas, the sauna, I just dust and wipe down. Because uh, it's pretty much, it's a cedar, cedar um, sauna. And I usually unplug it, but since I'm, I'm going to be gone and... I'm not coming, well, I'm not coming back up this way anytime soon. So I'm I'm gonna um just wipe it down and leave it plugged up because usually I, I, I unplug it and then plug it back up right before the guests come. Um I, you know what? I might plug no, I'm not because it I might get a guess at the last minute. So I'm gonna leave it plugged up because President Weekend is coming up. And I might get a guess, and I know I'm not going to come up this way before President's Weekend. So, I'm going to um, let this stay plugged up this time. Um, maybe after the President Weekend, when I clean up or get the cleaning crew in, I might have, unplug this. So, I clean my Airbnb, and like I said, I'm going to meet with, uh, I'm going to have a cleaning with, the two people I just hired, well, I just kind of interviewed today with the backup. They see how they clean. So after my fourth, March 14th booking, I'm going to have them meet me here and we're going to clean together so I can let them know how I want the house clean and make sure all the surfaces swipe down. They dust the baseboard, everything in laundry. So this is T's journey. This is how I do my um, clean my um, short term rental. Um, Till the next time. See you later. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell notification. Also, I'm going to include a link below of how to book. If you want to book, it's on the water. Um, I wish it was still doing the day. I could have take. Oh, and it was warm outside. I could have took you outside when everything was it's un, undone and everything is out. So, I'll do that in spring or summer. So, again, if you want to book, I'm going to link it down, down below. Um... And this is T's Journey. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell notification. Okay, this is February 12th. Continue. This is upstairs. I'm about to leave out. This is going down her steps. Steps are polished. I mean, dusted. Um, wiping the, I'm wiping the, um, everything I touch with my Clorox wipes there as I go off filming. This is the bedroom, cleaned up. Everything's in order. Everything's in order there. Bedroom number one, again cleaned. Everything stocked and in order. This is down the hall. The bathroom is cleaned, stocked, and in order. Turning the thermostat down to uh, this one heat auto, and I'm turning it down to at least 64. I want 60 or 65, or you know, well, at least 65. Kitchen is done, dining room is done, living room is done, everything's stocked, refrigerator is cleaned out. Thing. Put the whole light out and the uh, and the living room is done. Things in its place. So this is for the next guest that's due to come in March seventh. From the 7th to the 14th. So everything's in place. Let me get this. Put this. Cool rocks. Bleach. I'm taking it with me. I got a couple of them in here. So that's that. This is February 12, 2023. I'm walking around. I'm finished. 
cleaning up and I'm leaving until my next um, stay, which is uh, March 4th through March, I mean, it's March 7th through March 14th. And I'm just walking through, excuse me, that's my coat, my um, wipes, because I'm wiping down everything as I touch it again, and my um, duster as well, dusting the steps. But I just want to let you know, this is the frontage, this is February, this is February 12th, 2023, and I'm leaving the house, and I just want to do a um, video of how clean it is, and after the clean, I'm gonna walk through this room in the hallway. Again, on the steps is my stuff I'm taking with me. In the room in here. And then we'll walk up the upstairs after I take my stuff upstairs and put it in the car. Just as I'm leaving. And now let me re-wipe down everything. But this is February 12th, 2023.